what is going on you guys i hope you're all having an embraceful day as you guys can tell all the panels are laying down right here on the floor why is that because we're in the final stretch guys so it's been two years and i'm finally at the point of finally getting these primered up and being ready for paint um it's crazy it's crazy i started this i first got the flares when i was test fitting them on the car the front ones i think they're front either the front or the rear or the rear i don't remember which pair it was but I started on May 24th of 2016 and I remember that day clearly. I remember I was super excited, like really happy that I got the flares and I was gonna do something that I never did or had never had experience doing, working with fiberglass, bondo work and stuff like that. And look at where I'm at right now. I mean, I've come a long way. I've definitely come a long way. I've learned a lot throughout the years, um, those two years that I've been working on this and I couldn't be any more happier. And for those of you that have been here since the beginning, um, I know there was a lot of criticism and stuff like that, which I don't see any of it anymore. So I don't know where all those people went. I don't know what's going on with them. Maybe they're not on YouTube anymore. They're not commenting using the warrior fingers and whatnot. But anyways, back to the point. I know I'm going on a little tangent. Like, it's crazy. It's crazy. You, you will never understand the work that went into it until you actually put in the work of doing something similar like this working with body body work uh do, doing body work i mean um fiberglass carbon fiber stuff and stuff like that it's not the same as bolting on something onto the car that is meant for the car it's not something that's like that so you can't compare those two things together but i'm really happy that you know i took the time and I had a vision, I had a vision, I went towards that vision, and that vision is coming true. So I'm really excited. I know I'm just rambling on and on and on, but I'm just super excited. I'm gonna try and make this video short and simple. I'm gonna go over everything that the car needs to be done, and the rest of the video is gonna be a full time lapse. I bought another set of quick latches. Um, we're gonna be putting another one onto here, as well as on the other side, because you guys can tell there's a gap that's right here. So I'm gonna be removing the brackets that's in there, because it doesn't allow this bumper to sit like perfectly onto the bracket. But the main topic of what I really wanna get done on these is unfortunately, these divots, that are on here i'm gonna be filling them all in i know i mentioned that i wanted to do it like this i found the method of that that could work but to make it a lot easier on myself and a lot easier on bolting on the stuff and things like that i'm just gonna fill in all of them so the hardware is gonna be sitting on top um it's not gonna be divoted down onto those little uh holes so that's one thing i need to get done on all the panels these rear flares these rear flares are the ones that are almost complete um there's not that much work that needs to get onto these because i have been working on these behind camera um doing body work stuff and things like that um besides all that work these will get probably done the quickest moving on to the bumper covers here on the bumper covers all we need to do is cut this little screw that's right here that holds onto the bracket fill it in Get this all body worked onto the, these flares that are right here. Same thing on the other side. Fill in the holes, of course. Now moving on over to the main front fenders. Same thing. Trim off the screw that's right here. That's holds onto the bracket. Uh, get that filled in. And get this body worked on both sides. Perfectly matched onto there. Fill in the divots as well. Um, this side for the side skirts actually done already. All the body work's done. This one still needs the body work that needs to be done on it. But... I think that's everything that needs to get done onto those fenders and as you guys can tell that's not much to do so I'm really happy we're gonna get these primered up I'm sure we're gonna get these primered up in this video so let's get started with the time lapse you, you got to let it go you, you got to let it go
just finished up doing all the body work needed in order to get these rear flares done. Um, most of the body work, as you guys can tell, what I kind of mean is all this tar top part that I was really focusing on is completely done. All the pinholes are completely done. Now, I can either run the weather stripping that goes here or run no weather stripping at all because as you guys can tell, it's a really close type fit. Um, I mean, it cost me a price of removing the paint, as you guys can tell if you guys take it close real closely. Um, I did fill in with primer just for now, that way it doesn't rust or anything like that. But I do have the option to run uh, the weather stripping, like I said, whether I want it or not. Right here, I don't have the screw right here, but push it in, closes up that gap down here as well. So it turned out really good doing the fiberglass on the body with the flare on there to close up the gap that's right there. I took a, t a lot of time filling in most of the pinholes all around the whole entire kit. And kind of what I mean by sort of completing the rear flares is because right here, unexpectedly, um, a crack ended up happening right here. I believe this is where I fused this piece to the other piece because this one is the one that goes onto the bumper. So it kind of gave me a crack right here towards the end once I was already finishing this. So. Um, it happened on both sides actually as well, which I'll show you guys right now. But this, I'm going to be doing the bodywork on the car once I start doing the front one, which will be in the next video. But for now, I mean, the really main thing that I wanted to get done was filling all the gaps right here. All the pinholes that way, I don't have to worry about it later on. Something else that I don't really want to worry about right now until I actually get the wheels and tires is this arc right here this little arch that's right here um depending on how the wheels and the tires are going to fit i may need to chop this up and bring it out a little bit i'm not 100 percent sure that's why i'm not really worrying about like a perfectly semi-circle right here so i'm not really worrying about it too much right there i didn't focus much on the bodywork right here as well either because i don't know if i'm going to be chopping it up or not i did ruin the tail lights a little bit right here um and this is not reversible this is because of when I was trying to close up this gap right here, I put the tape here, it didn't go through, but these lenses will be getting replaced. Um, just the lens, because I am keeping the tail lights this side and this side as well. Just a little bit quick latches. The two quick latches that I put actually end up helping closing up the gap on both sides, as you guys can tell. I am still missing, I'm gonna buy some rods so I can push this up just a little bit, as you guys can tell, there's still some play. So I'm gonna be buying some rods to put under here to hold on to the rear bash bar. Right here, as you guys can tell, this is where it cracked a little bit too. So I need to do the body work right here as well. So I didn't bother primering this right here. So I guess you could say that the rear flares are almost completely done. It did take me about three weeks just to work on these flares, which I thought was gonna be, it wasn't really gonna take that long. It was mostly a lot of the pinholes that I needed to fill in that kind of took me a long time. But I mean by three weeks, I mean six working days, six actual working days. Um, Cause as you guys know, I only work during the weekends on the body kit and stuff like that. Anything that has to do with the car, I work on it on the weekend. But nonetheless, on the next video, I mean, we're gonna be done with these until we actually get the wheels and tires. So you guys won't see any videos regarding the rear flares until we do actually get the wheels and tires. So the next video you guys will see, we'll probably be working on these, putting these onto the car. So that's where I'm gonna end today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. There's still so much to come. So if you're new to the channel, make sure you guys subscribe and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out and embrace yourself.